Hey, welcome to today's voyage. Welcome. Uh, I've done a couple solos here recently, and uh, Ash has decided he wants to do one. So, hey, buddy, tell us about it. Well, I'm going to play some Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. I know you've played about three seconds of it. And uh, not only am I going to do that, I'm actually going to play through the Eden Prime mission and show you some of the Easter eggs and how to get your Prothean squad mate and his rifle. So it'll be a nice little tutorial video for us. Well, I have no idea what you just said. But I know. I'm excited. I'm excited too. Let's do it. All right, buddy. Mass Effect 3. Tell me what the hell I'm looking at. Uh, this is just um, your character spec sheet, like how you build your dude. And uh, these are my squad mates. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Um, that's not what we're really here for. There is kind of a longer cut scene. I like to skip through them because I've played it a thousand times. But as we are said, we're playing an Eden Prime, okay? In this game... You have you have a system called like war assets where you got to do stuff and make your team better for the end game. Well, this one actually had a big chunk that actually people missed a lot. And uh, I gotta skip through this. But anyways, you get a hidden squad mate in this, and his name is Javik, and it was day one DLC stuff. Okay. A lot of people didn't want to pay for it because they're like, that is stupid and expensive. It is kind of weird. Day one DLC. Yeah. Yeah. EA. So, and this is like 2012, 2013, 2012. Oh, so the other day. Yeah. Yeah. It's been, it's been a little while. All right. Now I'm to the point where I can skip the cutscenes a little bit. Uh, yeah. So you've never played this, so you have no idea anything is going on in this. I played Mass Effect 3. I think on 360 when you brought me a copy, like because we played six, the online, me or like your six brother or eight years ago. Yeah, your brother, me, you and I, we all three played it online. Uh, oh, yeah. I was I was awful. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> he and I played this a lot. All right, Come on, we need to find the dig so this is all Eden Prime is like a human colony, okay, and. It, it got attacked and blown up by the bad guys called Cerberus. And if I remember right, yeah, you collect the Medigel there. Nobody does. Through here. They'll be stronger for it. And okay. This is one of the Easter eggs right here. That's the uh you'll see the Eden Prime resistance movement. There's three pieces of intel. And if you don't get that one before you trigger this cutscene, you can actually lose the ability to get to it. Okay. And then yeah, and then this is the scene where you actually you bring up a you bring up a casket, kinda. This sounds like Borderlands, but it looks like Guardians of the Galaxy. It's not a Prothean artifact. It's, it's no, I mean that's, it's just that's like that's kind of fair. That's kind of that, fair. That quirkiness of Borderlands would be bringing up a casket, but visually looks a lot like Guardians. Yeah. I, I but it has the but it also has the Halo feel to me. But again, I, I've never really played it, so... Yeah, it... Well, you... You hit it on the head with all of those because they all have... They all have their elements in this. Um, three, in my opinion, is the more refined of the three games, but Mass Effect 2 was always the big popular one. But it had a, Wasn't that one, like, 18 hours long? Like, wasn't that the one with Yeah, the, they're all about... I mean, depending on how you play them... It, I mean... Well, old, old Dutch, he was... Uh, Telling me a while back how much he loved Mass Effect, and I thought he played through two and three. Oh, he played all the way through Legendary Edition. He he did what I did, except for not as many times. Yeah. I uh this I've actually one hundred one hundred percented this game in the achievements, which uh, playing on uh, Legendary difficulty is rough because I, I mean this character I'm playing with now this is an adept, so basically he has brain powers. Well, minus all the powers you're talking about, I did the same thing with Borderlands 1 and 2. Yeah. What the hell is that? Uh, that is a singularity. And then this... What? 
He what? died. Are you okay? <laughs> no. What happened? There you go. <laughs> All better. Okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, one of those intels is through this building on the back. Better wash yeah, right your hands. There. Yeah, right there. There's one of the other Eden. All right. There's some, there's some money. I don't need that anymore, but I'm going to take it. Um, yeah, let's go this way. If you go down this way, you can go through this building here. And then that takes you to the third. No. Yes, the third one is back here somewhere. Oh, look, there's a turret. Wait. You were shooting that turret through the building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a, uh, what they call the particle rifle. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Easy, John Travolta. Ooh! That'd be, uh, um... Mm -mm. That wouldn't be John Travolta. That was, uh, uh Christopher Walken. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hi there. Bye. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Any idea what that tool on his left hand he's using? What would they call that? I don't know. It, looks like, it looked like Iron Man. Well, kind of. It's called an Omni tool. There's some health stuff. I don't need it. All right. Now you're going to watch a... Uh, you're going to watch a fever dream. See if I can time this right so you can actually look at the screen correctly. Damn it. Come on, come on, come on. I got a fever. <laughs> and the only <laughs> remedy is more cow, but there we go. Oh, man. Two fingers. Did yeah. you see that? Oh, yeah. yeah. He, uh... Dude, in the first game, went through a pretty traumatic experience. Like, uh... Actually, this... You mean War of the Worlds? Because that's what it looks like. Kind of is. That's exactly what it looks like. Yeah. Maybe not exactly, but pretty damn close. And that's actually our squad mate. He's 50,000 years old. I don't know. This is terrible for me because me not ever playing it, not knowing the lore or anything, I just incorporate Like, that looked like uh, the rifle from Halo. Like, I see all these uh, games mixed into this. Yeah, it's... I mean, this... I'm sure the lore of this was... I mean, this came... The original Mass Effect came out in 08, and this one came out in... Was it 08? Yeah. The first one? Yeah, 08. Uh, October of 08. I've still got a sealed copy of uh, the original Mass Effect. It said, do not op do not release until... Uh, it's either... Eight, I think it's Halloween. You were talking about release and stuff. Uh, one of our friends from high school worked at TJ Maxx. And it was right when Halo 2 was coming out. And he, he was telling me one day how he was, like, unloading them. And he was like, man, it's so tempting Twisty. not to just be like, you know, take one out. They won't miss it. But, you know, he yeah. wasn't like that. He, he'd done his job and moved on with it. But how cool would that have been back in the day when Halo 2 came out to just be... Just open the box. You're yeah, like, like a whole box of fresh Halo 2s. You know, and I'm sure that they watch that stuff now, like distribution centers and things like oh, that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, some game, I don't remember where I read or heard this, but I'd heard some games, like, they actually have, like, built into, even if you try, like, modern games, since everything's online-based gaming now, like, even if you would happen to get a hold of a physical copy, it's still not playable. How is that, though? Because Well, you would have to download a patch, a launching patch. There's a lot of your, your Twitch streamers and other people that's very popular that they'll send games too to play before launch date right but i'm sure though i'm i'm sure it's much more complicated than uh than my simplified input had any right in here. we're getting ready to get it damn it i can tell i haven't played in a, in a little bit 
Let's see here. Okay. There's the third intel. Got it. Okay. So, we now have all three intels for the war asset of the Eden Prime colonists. I don't remember what it's worth. Don't Q&A me on that. I'm good. But we're getting ready to get into a little sticky situation here. Opens the door. Why does every fucking building have a kitchen? Like everything, everything room wise, you walk into, there's a kitchen. Yeah, these are people's homes. They were gunned down while having it's like a small apartment game. complex. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, Vega. Do me a favor. Thanks. Ow. Yeah, it wasn't very nice. Oh, oh, oh. Where is. Okay, fine. Do this the easy way. Give me that. <laughs> oh. What the fuck just happened to that? <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, I don't. I don't know a lot of what to say right now because I. I don't well, really understand it's. The I game. mean, no, I'm enjoying it because I don't. I don't know anything about it, so I'm learning. Right. The bad. Okay. The people we're finding, they're uh, they're considered uh, human bad guys. If I say they're the T word, if I if I call them what they are, uh, they're extremists. Okay. Obviously, they're bad guys because you're shooting them. I mean, yeah, I guess. Well, in a normal sense. I mean, I've seen you play GTA. I was going to say, You don't have yeah. to be a bad guy to get shot. Right. More, you, Not you're more you. at risk if you're talking on your cell phone in GTA <laughs> than a bad guy is. No smoking. You know, that causes heart disease and tuberculosis. Well, what, what, what kills me is, you know, we do this on the internet for fun now, but... I remember when we, when we was playing GTA 4 and we had unlocked that curb mode. Yeah. And you were just, you were just mowing them down. I was laughing so hard I was in tears. I remember uh, that was the first time I discovered you could actually break the front axle on a vehicle. Because it was like the whole front end had just collapsed. I was just literally running them over with a brick. I didn't realize you had unlocked that mode or that, that visual mode and you stole a Hummer and you were like, check this out. And you, you went to that mode and just started boom, ba boom, boom, just mowing them down. I was, I was, I could not stop laughing. It's just not the same in GTA five either. I know because it even had that semi slow motion cinematic type. Like you could see the, the hike and the, it was fantastic. Oh no, they got through the door. But back then, you know, we didn't have built-in capture cards. We couldn't, we couldn't, couldn't record it. Right. So, you know, any idea what the big uh, cephalopod-looking things are called? Are you really asking me? No, I'm just, I'm uh, just uh, guess. The only thing that comes to mind is War of the Worlds. That's it. They're called Reapers. See, that's Gears of War. Hey, 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 hey. Gears of War is Reapers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, did, so I'm playing with a very high-powered did, character, by the way. So. Did he just disappear? Yeah, uh, my gun actually dissolves people into goo. Cool. Also, Guardians of the Galaxy. Remember when uh, what's-his-name was like, I sent you to death. And then he melts the guy. Yeah. When, when Thor first showed up. That was in Ragnarok. Yeah, it wasn't in Guardians of the Galaxy. It was Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. That's a puddle of childhood memories right there. Oh, God. He <laughs> <laughs> melted away. <laughs> let's uh, let's not repeat that. <laughs> that's, uh, that's awful. Yeah, well... <laughs> They shouldn't have been bad guys. <laughs> no, it was, it was like on Family Guy when he was talking about how he stole his neighbor's uh, 
DVD player, and he's like, so what, I fired off some knuckle children in your living room. I couldn't afford a DVD player. I, I don't remember exactly how he worded it, but he was talking. I, I just remember him saying, so I fired off some knuckle children. Oh, my God. oh man. That was from the uh, Family Guy movie where they had it broke up into like three. It was like three episodes split up to make the movie. That was when Quagmire got the Winnebago and he's like, it's a Winnebago. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. James, you get there. Liara, you get your ass there. I'm gonna get there. Got it. Wait a minute. Oh, that's fine. Come here. See if I can snatch you up in the air. Nope, I missed. <laughs> oh, you prick! He, oh, he kicked it. He kick deflected it. Did you just shoot two of them? Yeah. James, get the fuck back here. What are you doing? Idiot! Here, throw a grenade. Throw a grenade in there. <laughs> What'd you do? I just had to throw a, throw a, a grenade inside the. Well, three dropped and they fell to their death. Yeah, the ooh, that guy got turned into liquid. I don't know why we're hiding. Fuck it. Let's, I've never I've never pushed this objective before. I'm gonna do it now. Well, the way you play it, I I couldn't. I would die all the time because you know me. I, I'm more of a run and gun. I can't just lay back and hide. Now, Halo Legendary, you kind of have to, but yeah, Halo, yeah, Halo Legend. I love Halo Legendary so much. It but Halo so Normal, I'm running. Bro, we're in that building. Hey, it's the guy from Reading Rainbow. It's his brother. Oh, uh, uh LeVar Burton. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, look at that guy. That's not good. You're not picking him up. That's not good. I don't want him to pick me up. Don't let him get close to you. Yeah, <laughs> burned ya. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. That <laughs> poor prick had no. Oh. I heard one of you. Where you at, dum dum? Where are you at, dum dum? Hi there. Hey, I got some bad news for you. I'll reabsorb that. Thank you. Wait, what? Yeah, you can. You reabsorb what you can. Cancel your power. You can. You can stand on top of it. Okay. I call it reabsorbing. I just do it because I don't want to listen to. No, it's, it's cool. Oh, God. Did it. I hear him groaning. You're in another kitchen. Go make me some fucking bacon and eggs. I hear him, but where is he? There. You can open the life pot now. Okay. Thanks, Liara. You're the bit ouch. You're the damn it. <laughs> Open that coffin. He's handsome. Is Nosferatu in there? He, he's handsome. I don't know what you want to call him, but his name's Javik. It's it's not. Oh, yay! It's a dude sickle. I hope he wakes up and acts like Austin Powers. Takes like a six minute piss. Hey there. <laughs> oh, that's the true definition of four eyes. Yeah, dude's been in that thing for 50,000 years. 50,000 years? Yeah. And he has all muscle control in eight seconds. Dude's only got four toes. Come on. I think that that's kind of like Transformers music. It's a uh, Jack Wall, the guy. Uh, 
that does the uh, Mass Effect music. No, the bugs are spawning. <laughs> there is no other option. This is so Halo y. Been asleep for fifty thousand years. You tell me to get to a pod fuck. Oh, oh, this is this is that this is fifty thousand years ago. Oh, this is before he got in the pod. Yeah. You should have said it was a cutscene. Oh, yeah, sorry. I figured you could tell that when it transitions to Hell no. scenes. Hell no. He's got fangs. I believe the lore is uh these guys evolved from uh like some type of reptile. The no. You mean the green leathery texture didn't give it away? Yeah, and the four eyes and the the two digits and the. I just want to see somebody pop up in the corner, and go stee like Mortal Kombat when Reptile comes out. Did you not see the one dude that the one dude when he opened the coffin? I was like crispy. No, oh, you don't remember the dude's head popped out in Mortal Kombat? Oh yeah, toasty. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So. Wait. Each eye has two pupils? Yeah. That's kind of wonky. I bet he's got really good depth perception. And peripheral. I wouldn't want to sneak up on it. <laughs> yeah, but it's so crazy to me that, like, this guy is actually a companion and you have a wholly fleshed out story with him. Like, after this point, like, Hours of gameplay, including this guy, okay? But if you didn't pay the whatever it was to get the DLC, you never put, you never got this fucking guy. Like, in my opinion, he was a very critical part of the story, but they hit him behind a fucking paywall. And, and now with Legendary Edition, it's the first time people ever got to actually play it and have this guy. I got you. He's very alien racist. Like he's very xenophobic. Like he does not like. He does not like other people. Then we will see. So cold. Yeah. But yeah, that was uh, that's Eden Prime. That's it. Yeah, that was the that was that one level that nobody ever. That I mean, a lot of people played it, but a lot of people didn't. That's correct. And. uh yeah, this is just uh, getting back to the ship now. All right. So, Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. What would you think, man? I liked it. I just, I don't know that much about it, so I just kept comparing it to other games I've played. Well, I liked your comparison to it because I played this game so much. You know, this has kind of become its own thing to me. But everything you said was exactly right. I saw all the influence from all the other pop cultures in the game. And in my opinion, that was fantastic. But... I'm going to give you guys a little Easter egg that goes along with what we did today on this party note. And if you did everything right and you got Javik as your squad mate, he actually has his own neat little room on your ship here. And this room is normally locked at the end, you know, unless you've recruited him. So, leaving you with that, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys next time. Yep. See you next voyage. Bye.